tropical storm Newton touched down along the coast of Baja, California and Mexico this past Thursday. This tropical storm brought with it 90 mile per hour winds and heavy rains. A famous fan of Muhammad Ali's is making a major gesture of support for a new museum exhibit honoring the boxing legend. One very swanky New York charity event has traditionally been a chance for presidential candidates to take a break from politics and poke a little fun at each other, and more importantly, to tell plenty of self-deprecating jokes about themselves. Last night, Donald Trump seemed to break decades of tradition and instead went into attack mode. These tiny babies are ready for Halloween thanks to the March of Dimes. Volunteers from the group distributed handmade Halloween costumes to some of the patients in St. Luke's Hospital of Kansas City's neonatal intensive care unit. So what motivated you to vote today? I've uh, voted, I remember when I turned 18, I was at the courthouse to register to vote. And uh, I have voted in every presidential election since then. And I voted, that was for Reagan Bush's second term. So. Do you think you've seen progress since then? Uh, yes but I've served not in this election itself. So. Perhaps the most mentioned name in sports the past couple of weeks is Colin Kaepernick. The San Francisco 49ers quarterback had received a lot of backlash for refusing to stand during the national anthem. Dessert before dinner is not usually a good idea, but maybe just today the rules can change. A bad bug is going around East Tennessee officials with Knox County Schools saying 500 staffers and 50 bus drivers and plenty of students are sick. Jennifer Webb reports they decided to close the school for the rest of the week. Almost 20 years after the publication of the first Harry Potter book, author J.K. Rowling returned to London at the European premiere of her next magical movie, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. This past week, several women have claimed Trump forcibly touched, kissed, groped, or sexually harassed them in the past. CNN's Randy Kay went to a Trump rally in Florida to see what supporters had to say about it. An Iraqi toddler in Michigan for life-saving surgery is still separated from his parents. They're in Iraq and cannot get visas to come to the United States. Commuters in the Bay Area had a tough time getting around Tuesday morning. Residents are now being told to prepare for another round of storms. CNN's reporter Amy Hollyfield has more. Reporting live from APSU TV News, I'm Eliana Capellan.